So Vince Staples fans share their favorite moments as he's crowned the top two funniest rapper. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So on Saturday, August 26, a Twitter user wrote, Vince Staples' top two funniest in hip-hop, and I can't tell you who funnier. It wasn't long before the hip-hop cyberspace began using the post to share Vince's funniest moments, from him being dead serious and speaking his mind to trolling people with deadpan conviction. The bootleg catalog includes him admitting that he isn't fit to date because he's mean, a rant about Ray J's unsung greatness, and an unfiltered takedown of R. Kelly, among countless others. So do you date now? Yeah, but it's, it don't really work for me uh, like that, to be real. Really, though? Because I'm, I'm kind of mean, bro. Really? I was like, ask, what do you mean? Like, like relationship kind of, mean? Yeah. Well, will no. you tell a girl, if she say, do I look fat in this, would you tell her, yeah, yeah you look yeah, fat in that? Would. No, I'm going to be like, you sound stupid. Like, <laughs> why are you asking stupid questions? Like, okay, all right. If you Turn look, it back on her. If you look fat, then you are fat, and it's cool because we fat right now. Like, Go ahead now. Make her feel good, too. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's common sense. Yeah. Like, if we fat, we fat. Like, why why are we tripping? Like, nigga, why you hate yourself and you trying to bring me into it? Yeah. But my... <laughs> My, my, I'm, not, I'm just saying, like, love it, dog. Yeah, love oh, yourself. Why you hate yourself? I'm just saying, like, don't, don't, be trying, don't, don't be trying to use me to help you love yourself. Like, right. that ain't how this works. Right. right. Uh, Ray J will never lose. Ray J is the man. Ray J is probably top five hip hop West Coast of all time. Does Ray J not have hits? Ray J was the first blood on the record that was certified. You seen the K Slay interview? No, what did he say? So, then? without Ray J, there is no game. It's interview. First Ray J album. Oh. Peep that out. I was just a youngster hanging on the nine block. You, you like Kanye West music, don't you? Of course I do. You like Moesha, don't you? Of course. You like VH1, don't you? VH1 is a great channel. Ray J has had a hand in everything that's current <laughs> black culture. Hey, remember when Fabulous was real, real hot? But remember when he did that shit to Ray J? Oh my God, you said never recovered from that. that was, it you think he did? The last time I seen Fabulous, he had on, you know, a backwards jersey, right? Being the man, I, Fabolos, my bad, my bad. Fabolos. And then the next time I seen him, he was dressed like Marty McFly, my nigga. You're saying Ray J completely changed Fab overnight. I'm going to have the big homies who like homies. <laughs> Right there. This is crazy. And stick it in that nigga booty because he's soft. I apologize. I don't mean that. Listen, we going back to back him. You drive the ghost. You know, he, he drove Ray J's car. He filmed the video at his house. Nigga disrespected the money team. Ray J was the first to hop up, bro. Everything that we love is directly related to Ray J. <laughs> this for scares the me. For the love of Ray J. For the love. Love in hip hop. Ray J. That was the name of that fucking song. Whoa. I mean, that show, period. Whoa, Corey, can you work on getting a Ray J feature? Cause we don't need a Ray J feature. We're not ready for nothing like that. We just need a cosign. <laughs> Comedy. R. I Kelly like never went to jail. He's a fucking child okay, molester. Okay, let's never talk about R. He's R. Kelly. He's a child molester. We can't a, ever talk about this well, I'm guy. Saying, he's a child no, molester no, and he no, pees no, on no, people no. and he can't read and write and he didn't go to jail. I'm a good person. R. Kelly a piece of fucking shit. So piece of fucking shit R. Kelly didn't go to jail for being a child molester and peeing on people and having a human trafficking ring in Atlanta, then I'll be all right. You're about to get me fired from Coachella. It's my first time here listening to you right now. Yeah. He don't work. Why anymore. are you getting me fired? Because of R. Kelly. They should have booked R. Kelly if they like R. Kelly so much. He would have pissed on somebody in the crowd. Yo, bitch. Because he pees on children. If you could say something to your 10-year-old self, what would it be? What's up? Can you do a quick commercial for Long Beach Tourism? Hi, my name is Vince Stable. Stay off of Anaheim and Artesia. Best dish your mom cooks? My mom can't cook. Best late night food? Sleep. Favorite hot sauce? Anything that say Louisiana on the bottle. Favorite thing to do outside? Go inside. Are you going to start your third album or master your chili recipe? It's my business. Grossest thing you've ever seen or smelled? Where do y'all be at to like be having answers to these things? Best barber shop in LA? Ed House or Trey Bell House? Most underrated attraction in Long Beach? The county jail. What are the digits of pi? 3.14. I went to the Math Olympics 4th, 3th grade. Don't fuck with me. Do you think clouds are just God vaping? No, I don't think that's real. God's not a person. If God is a thing, he will be like a thing that don't have a face. But people say God is a person because people have egos. So they want God to look like them. So he's a man in the sky. Like that makes any sense. God probably like a porcupine or like a tree or like a body of water. I don't care who the president is. I never will. I'm never going to vote. I'm never going to go to jury dude because I will sit in that motherfucking room and tell you I am an active gang member. And if I see anybody that's from some other shit, I'm gonna make sure he get life. And they gonna say thank you for your time, and they never gonna call you again. I don't give a fuck about none of that government shit, cause it ain't never done that. My grandpa went to the army and came home, and all my family gangbang. That don't make no sense. Like, got medals, was in the Marines, came home, and they can start gangbanging. That should tell you something wrong with that shit, cause you don't have no problem going from that to that, cause it's the same thing. It's, it's tough to tell when Vince isn't joking because of his body language, which makes his personality even funnier. A few months back, for example, he expressed that he wasn't happy about his joint project with the Alchemist leaking online. Back in July 2021, 
He revealed in an interview that he'd recorded 30 verses for an Earl Sweatshirt joint collab with Alk. How did this whole project go to Kenny Beats, man? You know, it's crazy. I'm going to tell you the truth. This is an Ebro exclusive, right? Okay. So Alchemist had hit me. He was like, I want this project. Me, you, and Earl. Ooh. I only need three weeks. I'm like, all right, I'll do it. So we go over there, and they get high. As they do. So I'm the only one over there rapping, and I don't smoke, so it didn't really blend. I was getting headaches. So next thing I know, I got 30 verses on 30 beats. I thought we was collaborating. Whatever, boom. I got 10 songs. I'm like, all right, man, we finna put these songs out. Alchemist moves at a very cryptic pace. You know, he's, he's hella slow. Then I get to the point, I'm telling Kenny, I'm like, yeah, man. He's like, what's up with the Alchemist project? I'm like, man, I'm just waiting on the homie. You feel me? You know, we've been getting these stems for a month and a half. You know, it's all good. <laughs> and Kenny said, oh, man, you know, just come to the house. Like, you don't never, man, we don't never make no music, blah, blah. I'm like, because you the homie. I don't really work with the homies. It's weird. So, boom, we go to Kenny's house. We go twice a week for about two hours. For three weeks, it was right before Christmas, right after Thanksgiving. Made 30, 40 songs, and then we picked eight. In response, the veteran beatmaker took the Twitter to call Vince out, writing, Vince is full of ish. I've had a finished six-song EP with just him for over three months, mixed. He added, plus mad songs with him and Earl Sweatshirt. Fast forward to April, and Staples got word that someone allegedly leaked seven tracks, six complete and one unfinished, online. In response, he posted a cryptic tweet that seemingly implicated the producer. Leaking means you're tweaking, he wrote, captioning the photograph of a young Michael Jackson. The MJ meme also featured the words, you raggedy bitch. But do you agree that Vince Staples is top two funniest rappers in the game? What other rappers do you find funny? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.